All right, so if you are doing bubbles, you are starting with a very simple outline of a face. So kind of like this. Um, the color does not matter when you do this. So if you are using a blue marker or a red marker, it will not matter because um, this washable marker is just a placeholder before you trace it with Sharpie. Um, so you can use the plate to make your circle and you can basically pause here, go to the other video of the how to draw your view and follow along that video, but on the bubble wrap. So I'm gonna pretend like I'm watching the video. I'm like, okay, there's my head, half, half, and then half again, or half, quarter, and eighth. Um, draw my eyes. Don't need to put a lot of detail in. Eyebrows. This line is for my nose. My nose is eye width apart. My mouth is center of my eye apart. So if I go down here and here, I'm going fast on this. Once again, you should go back to the video where it shows you how to draw the face kind of carefully. Um, you can start kind of erasing these extra lines once you've placed everything because you will not trace those lines, those weird cross lines that go across your face. All right, after that, I'm gonna shape my face a little more. About halfway up here, I'm gonna put my hairline. Maybe I'll do half bangs, half knot. So just the outline of your person. Hairline is both where it touches your face, also how it comes off your head. So I think I'll do this one short just for sake of sake of comparison. So remember, you're doing your person. Your neck, edge of your eye should not be too skinny, should not be too long. Okay. Now that I've drawn my washable marker, I do not need it anymore. I need to trace everything I want to keep with Sharpie and then kind of lightly erase the washable marker. So. It does not matter how smudgy and messy this gets. The washable marker is just there as a placeholder. I'm not doing any of these lines because those are not really on the face. In a way, it's kind of good that I use a blue marker because I can see where I've traced and where I have not traced. Okay. Now I can get rid of the blue. Some of my Sharpie will probably come off because, well, it just will. And if it doesn't all come off, it's okay. It's not a huge deal that you have a little bit of extra. So some of that's coming off with the marker. I'm just going to go back and touch up my Sharpie. I don't lose the shape of things. All right, so once you have your person, that's when you get your actual paper. And what we're doing is we're printing layers. So I will help you tape it so that way 
each time it touches the paper, it touches it in the same place. In printmaking, this is called registering your paper, I think. It's been a while, um, but we are going to tape it on the edge. So each time I fold it over to my paper or fold my paper on top of it, it lands in the same place, okay? So nothing happened because there is no washable marker on my face. What you're gonna do is you're going to do this in sections. And, I'm go ahead and use yellow. Um, you'll color a section, you're coloring the inside. You're not really doing details. I'm, I'm going around my eye and my eyebrow, going around my lips. I'm doing it kind of quickly so it stays wet. Then I fold my paper over, or fold my bubble wrap over, and rub. And see how it makes my first color. If I'm if I kind of need the color to be printed again, I just have to color it again. color quickly, fold it over. And you can kind of overlap colors too. So you can kind of have fun with different colors. Oh, this might be a little too dark. Whatever, it's okay. Maybe I'll get some of it off so it's not so dark. All right, so you can see where my eyes and my mouth are. Um, if you want to, you can every once in a while stop and then outline on here what you're doing, or you can just kind of keep going until you have all like the interior spaces of your skin and hair and stuff done. Just wanna keep it attached. So let me at least get um, the face done. And I'll show you how you can add details to this paper. Okay. So you can do it with pencil first if you need to, but, and actually you could, if you want to kind of trace your line and print it and see what happens. It might not be perfect. So kind of traces. I rather actually just go in and draw the line where I see the spaces. This is an opportunity also to kind of fix it or work on it a little bit. And like I said, you can do this in pencil first if you're not comfortable going straight with markers into it. You can also, small details, or even big details if you want to, color them in a kind of normal with marker. I feel like I wanna to try to print my lips. Sounds weird, but I wanna be red and purple. And then you can just continue doing sections. And like I said, you can do colors over this too. Um, let's say I wanna get real like crazy and try to do some shading. Like where the shading lines would go. Whoa, okay. That kind of worked. All right, I'm gonna do my hair next.
Now, if you want to radically change colors and put a new color on top, you can also kind of wipe off the color. So there's my blue, but let's say I wanted to like put a layer of pink on top of it. And I don't want it to, or yeah, I don't want it to mix. You can wipe off the blue so that the marker doesn't get all mixed up. And what if I did like, like streaks? I don't know if that's gonna show up, honestly. Maybe a bit of streaks of red. And then I can go back to drawing things in. So if I want to add some lines to this, I can also add texture lines inside. One thing I like to do with Roy Lichtenstein is that I like to let the marker be wide and then turn it to get skinny, kind of making these expressive kind of lines wide and then skinny. You might want to practice that on another piece of paper first. That's a kind of cool effect you can do. And like I said, all of this doesn't have to be bubbles. Try at least the face. Um, but I could even color some of this in with just color. Ooh, there you go.